Hey guys, Jason here with the One Stop How To Guys, bringing you episode 5 of Practical Drupal Development. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Drupal's block system. So, what is a block? Well, a block is a dynamic region of content that can be moved around into any number of pre specified locations on your website. Now, I know that is extremely confusing, so let's take a look at an example. This search area right here is one of Drupal's default blocks. Now this piece of content can be moved into um, any number of specified locations on this page. It can be displayed here, it can be displayed up here, it can be displayed in the footer, or any number of other locations. And those locations are defined by the theme. On this particular page here, you can see that we have several blocks already installed. We've got the search, we've got this navigation, and then we also have this little menu at the top. So how did they get there and where can we put them? Well, if we hover over structure and click on blocks, we'll be displayed with all of the blocks that came installed with Drupal. Um, we haven't added any ourselves, so these are all the ones that have been installed by Drupal. And you can see that there's the system help menu, um, there's a search form, there's the navigation. Um, and as we scroll down, you can also see that that powered by Drupal at the very bottom is also a block region. So where can we put these guys? Well, if we click demonstrate block regions in the top here, Drupal's going to take us over to another page. And each one of these yellow areas is a different region that we can put our blocks into. Um, as of right now, that search bar that we had was told to display in the sidebar first. Um, and based on the CSS for this theme, that sidebar has been styled to be where it is. So when we added that search bar to the sidebar first, it automatically went over there to the side. Um, each one of these titles here also corresponds to the content region in that list. So if you're over here, back in the the blocks list here and you're saying I want to put this search bar somewhere else but I don't know what the featured section is and if that's really where I want to put this block you can come up here to demonstrate block regions and you'll see where that featured region is you'll also get to see the styling that that region has so when you put that that search bar into the featured section of, of this particular theme, you'll see that it's going to also get this nice dark gray background as well. So we're going to click exit um, block region demonstration. And let's actually move this search bar to the other side of the site and see what happens. We saw in that demonstrate block regions area that there was a sidebar second and it was on the other side of the main page content. So if we click the little drop down and click sidebar second and then save this, we'll see that this will actually move over to the other side. Now, there's a couple of things on here that we don't actually need right now. In fact, all of the blocks that are currently on Drupal's site by default, this powered by Drupal, the navigation, the search, and even this menu up here, we don't actually need them. We're going to install a better search module than the one that comes pre-installed with Drupal. So we're actually going to clear all of these block regions off of our website. So if we go up to structure and blocks and simply click on each of them and tell it to be in none, except the main page content or your content will disappear. Um, so we're just going to tell all of these things to go to none, including the one in the footer. And we're going to go ahead and save that. And we're going to close that down. And you'll see that now all of those regions have disappeared from our website, except the menu in the top, um, which actually isn't a block. Um, so that's a little brief overview into Drupal's block system. We're going to be creating blocks as we go. 
Um, our homepage slider that we've been working on is going to be a views block region. Now views is a module and it's one of the most powerful modules within Drupal and it allows us to create dynamic page content or block content and our slideshow is going to be a block that we're going to place on the front page of our website. And if we just dove into the views and dove into creating blocks, it may not have made as much sense to you what exactly we're doing unless we took a quick minute to look at this. Now, just so that we didn't do anything in this tutorial, let's go ahead and create a block that we're going to place in the footer as the copyright for our website. So if we come up to structure blocks and click add block, you're going to see that it's very similar to adding a piece of content to your website. You get an option for a title and we're going to enter this in. We're going to get rid of it, but we're going to enter it in so you can see what it looks like. Um, and we'll just call this copyright. Um, and then the description is required so that when you're in the blocks list, you can see what this block is. So we're just going to call it copyright and we're just going to type in copyright 2013. Um, now you can make this as elaborate as you want. If you're going to have a full on production site of your own, you may want to do copyright 2013 all rights reserved and then your name, whatever. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, from here, we can actually assign this block to a content region. So I'm going to come in here and click header and click save. And go ahead and close down the blocks list. Now we can see that that's been added to the header. Once again, this isn't exactly where we wanted it. We wanted it in the footer. I did that on purpose because there are two ways to move your block at this point. One, you could come up here to structure, click blocks, find your block and assign it to the footer. You can come in here and drag it as well. If you click the little handle, you can drag it to different sections. And that's one way of doing it. And the other way is to come up here to this little, to your block, hover over it, and you'll see this little gear icon up here. If you click the gear icon, it'll say configure block. And you can click on that, and that will take you back to the same form that you had when you added the information. So if you wanted to edit this block and maybe add more to it, take some of it away, you could come back to it through that little gear icon. And then you can also come down here and reassign it to wherever you want it to be. This is a really quick way to be able to get to your blocks and edit your blocks instead of having to come up into structure, click blocks, wait for that to load, scroll down to the region you have it in, either click configure or move it around. If you click configure, it'll take you right back to that place where you can edit that block. You can delete it from there. Or you can just simply hover it, click the gear, click configure and that'll take you right back to this page. The only thing you cannot do from this page is delete this block. You'll actually have to come back over to the blocks, scroll down to your block and click delete. But that's an overview of Drupal's block system. Um, if we pop over here to this demonstrate blocks one more time here, I do want to mention that different themes, as I said earlier, have different block regions. Um, some of them do not have this featured section. Some of them do not have this highlighted section. A lot of them do not have this many footer sections. Um, if you do place a piece of content into one of these given sections, as we will later on, and the theme that you download um, does not have that given section, it will not delete your block. It will simply select none for that block's content region. So. As we progress forward and download more themes, you'll know that these content regions will change, which also may be a specific reason as to why you download a particular theme, because its content regions may match what you need better than another. But that is the overview to the Drupal block system. We will be covering 
this many times as we go on because we'll be creating blocks for our phone numbers. We'll be creating blocks out of the views module and we will just really be elaborating on how powerful this system is to have on your website. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter and I will see you in the next, next episode of One Stop How To Guys Practical Drupal Development. I'm not going to